Hi and welcome back. Today I actually wanted to make another recipe but since we have an emergency in our garden, we have a lot of plums, I decided to show you a plum cake that I've been making ever since my childhood. So let's get to it. We will need 500 grams of flour, one package of yeast, a quarter of a liter of lukewarm milk, 250 grams sugar, out of those 50 grams will be needed for the dough, 50 grams butter, one egg and a pinch of salt, one and a half kilos of plums, a bit of sugar for coating and a lemon in order not to get brown fingers. For the sprinkles we will use the 200 grams of sugar that we just mentioned, 250 grams of butter, 200 grams of flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. First we mix the yeast in the lukewarm milk and add a teaspoon of sugar to activate the yeast. In a bowl we mix the flour, the butter, the egg, the 50 grams of sugar, the milk with the yeast into a smooth dough and we put it aside and cover it with a cloth for approximately 45 minutes until or at least until it's twice the size. While we wait for the dough, we clean and wash our plums and cut them in halves or in quarters, depends on what you prefer, and put them aside. This is important for removing the core. And remember to always coat your fingers with some lemon juice or vinegar in order not to get brown fingers. After 45 minutes, we uncover our dough and work it on the tray to make the bottom of our cake. We put a bit of sugar on top of the dough if we want the cake to be a bit sweeter, otherwise it might be too sour. That is completely up to you. It depends whether you want it more or less sour. Now it's time to make our sprinkles. We mix together the flour, the 250 grams of butter, the sugar and the baking powder until you get a uh, sticky dough. When I was a kid I usually preferred eating only the sprinkles and I had a phase where I did not eat either the plums nor the bottom of the cake. I only picked out the sprinkles. Now we put our plums on top of our bottom. We have a lot of plums so we will have a lot of filling on our cake. On top of the plums we place the sprinkles, that is also up to you how many you like. Since I have an addiction to sprinkles, I like my cake covered in sprinkles. And now it's time to put our cake in the oven at 180 degrees for approximately 40 minutes. When the sprinkles start to get golden brown, we remove the cake from the oven and leave it to cool down, otherwise it's scorching hot. And here's our finished cake, which in German is called Zwetschgendatschi, I dare you to pronounce it. It's still cooling down and I guess since we're only two people we will be busy for a couple of days with this. And thanks again for watching and see you again in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and leave a comment with what recipe you'd want to see me make next. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when a new video is out.